Hello, here's a experimental video, a classic video game. Um, it ought to work. Not quite sure. This track is supposed to be uh, Los Angeles. It does have a functioning uh, HUD view, and um, people might recognize this as a classic uh, arcade uh, game. You're supposed to be the 101 freeway or something into uh, downtown Los Angeles. So I'm going to go back to the uh, main menu, and that's the main menu there. I didn't add those in. Um, Was actually was that Seattle? Um, so I'm going back to the stunt track. Um, there's a lot of different uh, things here. Uh, the car is going to be the fastest one. I'm going to give it uh, an Italian paint job. Little red, big green. And uh, maybe uh, for the accent color, uh, dark green. Okay, I can even adjust the rims. And that's enough uh, customization. So here's the taking off. Uh, portion uh, I am trying to uh, keep the car intact so there's different types of views I'm gonna hit this jump here and make it up to that uh, upper level uh, I think there's a little yellow jump right here that I could hit first as practice and here's some more uh, practice bumps or something, speed bumps. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Uh, oh. So I ought to be able to do a two wheel driving uh, practice. So a lot of features from uh, uh, all of the GTA series, from San Andreas all the way up to GTA 4 and 5, the modern ones. Uh, I could do two-wheel driving here. I could do uh, massive jumps. Uh, some of these vi uh, videos gone viral on the uh, YouTube trending page. Um, for stuff like this, they have uh, a lot of things like this. Well, uh, yesterday when I was practicing, I was a lot better at making that jump. Uh, so I'll try that. I don't know if I'll try it again. For some reason, the car doesn't seem to be going as fast as yesterday. Well, I'll hit this jump here. Uh, that's a good jump to hit, the yellow one. Um, it spells rush. I should be able to make it all the way to the H. I'm going to go in. Here's the... Uh, bumper view and that's the hood view so I mentioned that in Need for Speed Most Wanted from uh, 2006 I think um, 
that was what I why I uh, always prefer the hood view uh, to the outside view like this one but when I really think about it uh, the first uh, simulation racing game was this one in arcade it used to have a clutch pedal and all type of thing so when I see this green thing uh, I'm gonna try to hit it at 150 miles an hour oh I'm, I'm actually going for the big jump over here I'm gonna try to hit this one at 150 miles an hour that wasn't bad uh, I've tried to land it all type of different ways in here uh, even hitting landing on the green the car still explodes um, actually found some golf balls out here uh, yesterday so I'm gonna try to hit that purple one again there's a big green one I think uh, this was sort of uh, for the developers to play around with the uh, physics of the video game and also for demos eventually is why they uh, added it for uh, video demonstrations uh, I'll go ahead and show this one at full speed going uh, way up first person perspective you know what I didn't realize it was possible to actually land on the half pipe like that uh, here's the mountain uh, that I was just shooting for. I call it the green. It's like a golf course. In my opinion, uh, purchasing an old uh, Nintendo 64 would be worth it for this game only. Uh, the Nintendo 64 has some of the fewest amount of games, even though the few that are good are great, like uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, from, uh, uh, I think it was made in England. Uh, that game's still like over a hundred bucks around there. Uh, so I already hit the large jump here. And so following this right here, if I go too fast, this is like the video that went viral on uh, GTA on uh, the trending page the other day uh, just like this it was virtually the exact same thing they were doing but they were jumping the entire city okay and then I landed it I could go over here to the half pipe uh, you know I could mess around I messed around for the whole 20 minutes of this so um, let me go back to uh, maybe just do one race for real. At, uh, I could do Las Vegas, New York downtown. I think I'll do New York downtown. I also have New York uptown. I don't know what that's supposed to be. If that's supposed to be Maui. Oh, that's supposed to be Honolulu because Honolulu has a, uh, uh, or Waikiki Beach has that there, uh, that volcano. Um, I'll go ahead with this one. Same car, I guess. You know what? I could change it up to the Sportster concept. Muscle car with an Italian paint job again. Big red, little green. Okay. Uh, change the rims. All right, here it goes. <clears throat> okay, it looks like the Brooklyn Bridge actually from uh, GTA 4. Probably a bad idea to go this way. But it is just like the walkway in uh, Liberty City in GTA 4. Albeit, you know, however, uh, this path ends. I remember because I, I crashed there a lot on a motorcycle, at least once I have in one of my videos. 
Do we all have the same type of car? Courthouse, uh, subway station. Wow, this really looks like uh, from uh, GTA 3, uh, Staunton Island. If I stumbled upon, I even see in the distance the statue of uh, happiness in Liberty City, comparable to the real thing in the Statue of Liberty. That reminds me of GTA 4 around the southern portion of, uh, not Alderney, but Algonquin. There's a tunnel just like that. And especially that building that we broke through with the glass reminds me of one of the buildings under construction in GTA 3 Liberty City. This game from so long ago, from the late 90s, it is uh, so enthralling. I mean, when I, uh, I really couldn't believe that uh, a game, so that, I'll go check out that park during practice. During practice, I can just go explore all the jumps and everything. Um, I just couldn't imagine that uh, it would be near as good as the arcade and I you know especially considering like a joystick compared to a steering an actual steering wheel um, wow I really could play this for a really long time uh, and the last video that I made uh, before the power blackout is that one I'm talking about in GTA 3's Liberty City that even looks like the courthouse in Staten Island from Liberty City. This looks like uh, the west side of Staten Island in GTA 3. So the one that's comparable to the Viper and this one could be comparable to the Banshee in GTA 3. I really think that they uh, gave some of their code. See, during practice, I could mess around with stuff like this. Okay, so I'll go ahead and quit that race. Um, I think I'll make a video later on. Uh, video over.